There we go. So I finally got past that stupid puzzle. What good is a challenge? Does the creator wish to teach, or perhaps just entertain? Some space to think, or maybe just to do something productive? Ooh. Ooh, even more? Okay, so... Let's see... Video... Yellow and light blue here. I want to say that's correct. Oh, whoop. there we go. Oh, what door did it open? Oh, the one up top. Okay. Well, what about this door? Oh. Chapter three. A state change on observation. Things in this world can change. Apparently between only two states though, on and off. Hopefully not indicative of my state of mind. Binary. Between two extremes, two poles, if you will. But why does the world change between a few states? Changes only seem to occur in small degrees. Why? Why is the world quantized? It confuses me that there's a limited amount of states in this world. I think that there would be an infinite amount. Why would there need to be a limit unless there was a constraint? And why would there be a constraint? I sure hope it's due to incomprehensible macro-level relationships rather than the overwhelming simplicity of a system. That is a nightmare which I could not face. The implication would be clear. A wooden boy given the breath of life. Is that the light little purple markings on the right side of my screen there not sure if you guys can see that almost like a break in the game it's weird
Continuous makes more sense than discrete, surely. All ideas are continuous, but the mechanics discrete. Nonsense, clearly nonsense. The location of each item in the world is only accurate to a binary exponent width of 8 bits. Why? And still, it can only be observed by a keen eye for infinitesimal phenomena. Planck's constant, the universe's machine epsilon. Oh, what am I even saying? Paranoia, paranoia. What am I trying to do here? So let's see. Sorry, I'm not talking too much. I'm really, really thinking here. Like, what I'm supposed to do. There's no hints to anything here.
supposed to do here? I'll be right back. I feel really, really dumb. So. Does that know how it was? Oh, thank you, Virgil. Vir Virgilus? Ah, oh, I feel retarded. <laughs> oh my god. By the way, welcome to the very confused video. Or gamer, I guess. I should call myself. Come on, load faster. Thank you. All right. Grand! So many doors. The path still appears to travel onwards behind Dust a large Fidelis. gate. But there are forks in this path. An opportunity to travel, see the universe, go along any path I desire. 
all this traveling, though, I would like a traveling companion. Someone Weird. to watch over me, help decide where to go, watch my back, keep me company. Oh, but that's just silliness. I don't really need anyone. I'm a god. <laughs> a really, like, confused god. This world has rules, clearly. For one, I cannot walk through walls, which is disturbing. You'd think if I was a god, I could do what I wished. For the most part, I don't appear to be in control. Oh. Perhaps my subconscious is keeping the world in shape. Subconscious. A powerful part of mind. All along, unobserved. Subtle. I wonder what resides in this subconscious. Those thoughts that I'm not aware of. Not all of my decisions are wisely made under the full power of cognition. Some decisions are made outside of the conscious self. I seem to observe a lot of my actions with little or no control over them. I must still own these actions. I'm assuming I just gotta fill the floor with all the signs. I guess I will just try another one for now. <laughs> see what I can do. What? See if the other ones are. So one and two, three and four. Let's see. 
If knowledge is in the mind, to be alone is to experience all of knowledge. All the substance of knowledge exists within mind. Therefore, to suppose another whose mind was unknowable or transient would suppose a world in which all knowing was an impossibility. So it follows that being alone serves as a proof of my deity. In this way, it is a comfort to me that I am alone. Others would be a difficult problem. A stairway to heaven made of fool's gold. Oh. Okay, what's this? Oh, okay. I'm literally building myself a staircase. Parkour in there, I guess. Right, so. Being alone is important. If one does not hear both parts of a conversation, one cannot have a full idea of what is discussed. To be alone is to know the whole story. But still, this Wait, world seems to attempt to communicate this something. Strange? The world is filled with part conversation. The writings on the walls, the, the walls themselves. So, those two and. Oop, not that one. Well, that was a little easy. Uh, um, <clears throat> let there be yet more light. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Be being alone can serve as a comfort. If there's no one, no one can hurt you. But perhaps that's a bleak outlook. There must be joy that comes from others. Praise, they can offer praise. As a god, praise is something I can relate to enough praise at the moment. Worship wouldn't go amiss. But if there were others, they might attempt to belittle me. Bring me down to improve their own relative status. Oh. Accuse me of pride, narcissism, pretentiousness, or grandiose self-referential commentary. Oh. Nonsense. Pretension implies there is a lack of thought. The pretense of thought. I've thought long and hard about how brilliant I am. Cool. So does that mean number two's done? The one way to find out. Oh, oh yes, okay, cool. So let's go to number three. Interesting way of opening a door. It doesn't take a genius to see that I am a genius. Okay. Comparative statements are somewhat redundant where you're the lone wanderer of the universe. I think I'd like a goddess to share this with. We could walk around and talk about gold. Perhaps waste away the time discussing how brilliant I am. She could bask in my intellect and compliment me on my immense wealth. How she'd look oh, like oh, me too. Oh, that was it Obviously right there. Be oh, as man. Handsome. Okay. That would be unthinkable. I'm gonna follow this clue. Could I create a goddess more majestic than myself? Could I create a rock that I couldn't lift? Well, apparently I can create doors I cannot open. What does a goddess do, though? Quite clearly, I'm busy doing oh. all this god stuff. Walking about, thinking about stuff, solving problems, inventing problems to solve. Gotcha. Would she be okay, my okay. helper or off doing her own thing? I mean, I'm a pretty big deal. If I had a goddess, I'd assume she'd want to be around me most of the time. But I feel like I'm too busy with all these challenges to possibly give her all of my attention. I mean, to be fair, it's likely to destroy her given my godlike intensity. Maybe I'd make her in my image. That would be amazing! Two of me! Oh, we'd have so much in common! I'd quite like her to be lively. Well, first, she'd have to be alive. Being alive is somewhat a prerequisite for being lively. Not created life yet. I see as through a glass dimly, not knowing as I should know.
Oh. <laughs> okay, that makes sense now. More light. Slight obsession with light here. I'm done here. Saw this in the trailer, so it's easy to figure out. So let's try number four. Be surprised. If I'm hmm. all knowing, then I should know all. Perhaps there is a moment when knowledge is created. <sighs> Sometimes when I ask these questions, I wish there was a response. Wish there was someone out there listening to me, hearing these words. But how could they tell me even if they were listening? I've never heard their voice. If a voice came down from the sky to talk to me, I'd probably think I was crazy. Uh, but, but in case anyone's listening, I have a surplus of gold. If you'd like to pop by my universe, I could give you some friendship <laughs> for gold, straight up trade. Something I'm missing here. Oh, is this the bridges? Okay, hold on. Where's the T sectioned one? Just move that one in the back, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, okay. So. Gotcha. Alright. I don't know what's down here. Oh, it's probably in case you walk off. Okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So let's put this bridge back. All right, okay. Let's turn this one here. Turn you this one. Okay. See how far I can get. So here, here, here. I'm stuck here. I need. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. If I can get this one to turn that way. Cause the door is here. So Ah, there we go. Bit of a walk, but we got it. Just kinda questioning why this one's off. In color, but hey. That's this done. I make a lot of mistakes and missteps. Can God make mistakes? A mistake is something oh, unintended. Am I an imperfect that. god? Or perhaps, perhaps I'm not a god at all. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, let's not be silly. Of course I'm god. <laughs> I'm 
Number four is done. All right, just on to number one. <laughs> Time for got this lovely little headache. Perfect until right here. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if I'm supposed to clear the floor or fill it, and that's what's irritating me. Let's just do this. Okay, okay. We're getting it, we're getting it. 